there are new concerns surrounding the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration in Selbaville. And it all has to do with the federal inspectors who give horses the okay for competition. Well, the man in charge of the celebration says he thinks the horses at his competition are being unfairly disqualified. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us tonight from the newsroom with the story. Jason? Well, Shannon, this is all part of a long-running disagreement between the people who run and participate in Tennessee Walking Horse shows and the USDA, the federal agency that's in charge of enforcing and policing them. Just driving into Bedford County, it's easy to see the billboard battle over the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration has begun. You see both sides of the story uh, using their uh, uh, rights to advertise and publicize. Animal rights activists argue that the illegal practice of soaring horses or herding them in training to get them to perform the large gait characteristic of the Tennessee Walking Horse is still widespread. Walking horse industry supporters say it's a practice that's properly policed and under control. But as horses continue to warm up for the evening competition Sunday, the CEO of the celebration says he's concerned with how many horses the USDA inspectors are violating for competition. It's a statistical impossibility if they're being consistent in their way of inspection. The CEO says over the entire walking horse season, the USDA inspected over 4,000 horses, violating about 1% of them. But in the two days since the celebration started and 255 horses were shown, the USDA has violated nearly 10% of those horses. We're talking the same inspectors, the same horses, the same trainers. So we're not talking about a different grouping of horse. While in-house inspections were going on today, celebration officials allowed us to shoot video of the process. But when we tried to get USDA's response to the celebration's concerns during its inspections... We're just trying to talk to Dr. Gibson or someone with the USDA. Okay, well, let's go outside. That changed. Could you have her quit filming until we get outside? I can't have her do that. The USDA official said it was against the Horse Protection Act for anyone not associated with a horse to be in the barn area during an inspection. But after we were outside, the USDA official spoke with Inman. The USDA then said they'd let us in to watch, just without cameras. What were you told by the USDA? Uh, that they would not allow you to, to video the inspections. However, they'd let me walk you through and, and show it to you. Inman says he's ready to hear the USDA's response to his concerns about the number of violations they've issued during the celebration. We contacted the USDA today to get a response to some of the celebration's concerns, but we did not get a response back on this Sunday. We are told in the past that the USDA has said some of the differences in the numbers of violations they issue at competitions has to do with different equipment they use during their inspections. That's something that is reasoning that the walking horse industry says they don't really agree with. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 HD.